how to build a super easy and super simple iron farm in Minecraft. These are the resources you will need for this farm. Now as you see this iron farm is extremely small and it will require barely any resources which is why it's so good. Now as you can see these are resources that this super small iron farm gave me in about an hour of AFKing which isn't too good but it's extremely good for the size of this and how long it takes so I definitely recommend that you build this in your world. So anyways to get started on this iron farm you will need to be about 100 blocks away from any village so after you have made sure that you are about 100 blocks away from a village simply break yourself out a 5x5 area into the ground so start by breaking one block into the ground then break four more blocks going one way so one two three four then break four more blocks going in another dire direction so one two three four then simply break four more blocks going out here so one two three four then just break these four blocks too so now you should have a three by three area left in the middle here which means that this whole square is a five by five and you can of course destroy this middle area right here so after you've done that you should have a 5x5 area dug out into the ground like this and the next step is now to dig this 11 blocks more down. So what you can simply do is just dig down here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So here is the hole so if you have done this correctly you should have a 5x5 hole that is 12 blocks deep. So after you have done that simply head down here and then build a row of 5 blocks at the end of pretty much any of these sides and expand that by 5 more blocks. So you should have something looking like this then do the same on the other side so build 5 blocks again against this wall and the five more forwards. So now you should have kind of one hole in the middle of these two blocks. Then simply place five beds on top of each of these kind of blocks right here and then do the same on this side. So now you should have a total of 10 beds. Then after you've done that head between the beds break one more block down then destroy the blocks you originally placed right here. So just remove them and then replace them with beds just like this. So after you've done that you should have a total of 10 beds on each side which equals 20 beds together. Then after you've that you will need to fill up the bottom row that we broke out with blocks just to prevent stuff from spawning here then build this wall one more up and then one more up just like this so now we should have total of kind of three blocks going up right here then after you've done that simply make a kind of roof above all the beds using solid blocks just like this now this floor is basically where we will have our villagers so of course for the villagers we will need any kind of workstation so we will need 20 workstations because we have 20 beds and we're gonna have 20 villagers inside there so simply two blocks above where this platform is so one two right there break out these five blocks into the wall do the same on this side do the same on this side and then of course on the last side and then simply replace this with any type of work block i'm just gonna use fletching tables because why not but you can use any type of workstations now we have all the workstations and the beds under so now we have one more step for villagers pretty much and that is to get 20 villagers inside of here. Now you can actually just get two villagers and then simply breed them up but I'm just gonna spawn in 20 villagers of course because I am in creative. But the easiest way to do this is probably to have a villager breeder relatively close by that is, sim that is simply used to breed up villagers and then send villagers into here using minecarts. But of course I'm just gonna spawn them in just like this. And as you see, after a little bit, the villager will choose one of the workstations along with one of the beds and will get the green particles above it. Now you have to get 20 villagers inside of here and I'm quickly going to say that you cannot use any of the villagers that have the green kind of suits on them or baby villagers. So simply just get 20 adult villagers inside here and make sure they choose a bed and a fletching table or any type of workstation and then uh, yeah. Okay, so now we have 20 villagers inside there and before we do the next step I recommend simply placing some torches in here just to prevent mobs from for example accidentally spawning although that would most likely not happen but you can do it if you want. So after you've done this you will just need to build a platform kind of right above the villagers heads just like this. So this should be a 5x5 five five platform as you see. Okay so after you've done this you will need to head into one of the corners for example here then break this corner block right here then break two blocks more in here then two more going inwards then one block higher up then another block so in total you should have kind of four blocks that's broken into the mountainside right here then simply to the left of this workstation right here do the same by breaking one block to the left and then just break in this you should have two by two room right there that is about four blocks high then simply head into here and place a double chest right here then head back out here and place a hopper that is looking into the double chest and then of course to get into this room you can simply break yourself out and then replace this with some ladders just so you can get in and out of the collecting room okay so an iron golem just spawned but anyways to continue with the building you will need to place a glass block on
on top of the right side of the chest right here as you see with an a block on top of it and just a block in the um, you know killing room or collecting room you can simply just place another dirt block or any type of block right there then after i've done that place a glass pane on top of the hopper with then one block going up and one block to the left place a button and then do the same on the right side right here this is because we're going to have the lava right here so simply place that there and as you see because of the buttons the lava will not fall out you can also replace the buttons with signs if you're more comfortable using that and then the last step is simply to place a water bucket right here and as you see the iron golem will fall into the lava or get killed by the lava and a great example because we already have one so you can see how this all works there we go so you saw the iron golem died and the items went into the hopper so to simply get your resources simply head into this room look in the chest and you will have your iron along with your flowers so anyways that is the iron farm as you see this is a very simple and easy design that you can build at any time in your world that is great in both early game but also later in the game in case you just need a little bit of iron so yeah that is pretty much it for this one so anyways i really hope you enjoyed this and if you did i would appreciate if you smashed that subscribe button along with that like the video but anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out